y'all. For those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No. It's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My so hair. it seems that we've hit a new fucking low for humanity. Right? What do you mean? So, um, this is somewhat of a developing story, but this individual named Tessica, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to say her last name. Like, I know what it is, but I'm not even going to say it. But um, she's from Louisiana, and she made a series of TikTok videos explaining how when she was washing and you know doing her hair however it is that women do what it is that they do well she ran out of whatever it was that she was originally using to moisturize her hair and i guess like put some hold into it and she had the fucking bright idea to get gorilla glue right and from the way that she describes how she went about applying this to her head, it sounds like she used the whole motherfucking bottle, right? Now, I sincerely hope with all my heart that I don't have to explain to y'all why that's not a good idea, but I'm going to. So, Gorilla Glue, like Crazy Glue, or any other extremely high strength adhesive right you're not supposed to put that shit on your bare skin let alone it be on your scalp which is the mo one of the most sensitive areas of, of skin on your entire body but she had the 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 uh, 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 I don't even know what the fuck you call it but the electrical signals in her mind culminated together to usher in that thought in her head and she went with that shit so like two plus two equals four she put all that shit on her head and she literally it, it, and the result of this <sighs> bad decision is, is is putting it lightly but the result of this bad decision was she completely molded her hair like perfectly like if you just look at some of the pictures her hair looks fine at surface value but when you watch her manipulate her head and rub on it and shit it looks like she's massaging the head of a macy's department store mannequin right so I think I, I know she she first explained this shit on uh, TikTok, but on some of her Instagram posts, she explained how she tried to wash her head 15 times and nothing happened. Go fucking figure. Right. And then she tried to say that she tried to put some other shit on her head and all it did was make her scalp burn. Right, like that, like 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 that wasn't the logical conclusion that you could come to after the fact. But even even at that, I'm assuming that she's in the right fucking state of mind, even though she's not. So I think yesterday she flew down somewhere. I want to say it was uh, she flew to California, maybe because there was a uh, a doctor that said that he could apparently fix this shit uh for free and what it ends what ended up happening was he put he he mixed some stuff together in the main component of this like concoction that he you know thought up was some kind of chemical that breaks down the main chemical in gorilla glue and 
um, he basically took it out of her head, and it was kind of like simple as that type of thing. So, how how do I feel about this? Well, first off, I feel like natural selection ain't working hard enough because. Now, you could say I'm going too far by saying these people like this don't, don't, don't deserve to live. And I, I don't really believe that. I don't really believe that she, that she should die or anything harsh like that. But I don't know. It's almost like I think her punishment should be, well, you should have to live like, I don't know, a year or two with that shit on your head. Like, in the fact. That you got on camera and told the world about it? Like, how fucking dumb can you be? Like, I woke up this morning with her having north of 800k followers on Instagram and she's verified. And she has the nerve to have public figure and um, a management email in her, uh, in her, in her, uh, her bio. Like, deadass. Watch her start rapping next because that's what all of these people do. Anytime it's a situation where somebody fucks up massively and they can get a little clout, a little, you know, five minutes of fame off of that shit, they start rapping. So that's my prediction for the future. But just when I thought you didn't have to tell people not to do shit like this. Here we fucking go. And I'm not surprised. Contrary to how I sound, I'm really not fucking surprised. Because it's like, we live in a society. This is the shit that happens. I mean, just a couple years ago, we were eating Tide Pods like they were lifesavers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm thinking, shit, natural selection, you can, you can drop a 50 bomb. Why don't you, nigga? Why don't you individuals just start eating the pink foam out the walls? How about you start eating the Tyvek out of your house? Why not? If you don't know not to do this kind of shit, have at it. Trouble. Oh my god. Constitution, you name it. It, 20, 2021 is really starting to look like the deluxe edition of 2020. Like, it's just like, oh wait, there's more. I mean, oh, and you know what? As a, as a black guy, the icing on the cake is that this girl is black. Like, I'm not trying to get political or racial here, right? Says the guy that's about to start making political and racial remarks and, and you know, allusions to shit that has to do with that kind of stuff. But it's like when I, when I look at, when I look at, when I look at the series of events and the thoughts that had to pop in her head for her to make the decisions that she made. I'm like, this is why black folks can't get nowhere as a community because you're out here making dumbass decisions like that. Like shit like that makes me think, you know what? You know what? Maybe there is a fucking point to racial profiling. Maybe. Quite possibly, they have a point there. Now, I'm being facetious, but it's like, you didn't know that? And like, if if anyone listening knows anything about black hair care, it's one of the most high-maintenance things. Like, as a guy, it takes a lot to keep your hair, as a black dude, it takes a lot to keep your hair moisturized and presentable and, um you know, managed well, and it's even harder for a black woman to do so. So you run out of your, you know, FDA approved ethnic moisturizer, and your first thought is to get the glue that holds metal together and shit like that, and you put it on your head? I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. Like, it's just like, Every day we stray farther and farther away from God and, and, and shit, that, that's just how I'm going to end that. So, you know, you guys let me know what you guys think. You, you let me know if, 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 if her decision to do this was in fact a good idea. Let me know if I'm missing something here, right? See ya.
Yeah! Ugh. 